Hello, this is Tim. Today we will talk about the secondary control surfaces of an aircraft. First, let's see what are control surfaces. Control surfaces can be classified as primary control surfaces and secondary control surfaces. The primary control surfaces are elevator, rudder and ailerons. They are used to pitch, yaw and roll the aircraft. The primary control surfaces are mandatory in all aircraft. Now let's look at the secondary control surfaces. Unlike primary control surfaces, these are not mandatory in all aircraft. These control surfaces are used to improve the performance characteristics of the airplane and also provide assistance in flying the aircraft. Now let's look at some secondary control surfaces. First we will see the flaps. Flaps are located at the trailing edge of the wing. They are classified as a high lift device on the aircraft. Let's look at the cross section of the wing and the flap in more detail. The flap can only extend downwards. As it extends, the wing camber increases, which increases the lift force created by the wing. This is the lift equation. When the camber increases, the value of CL or the coefficient of lift will increase, so the lift increases. Flaps will have more than one setting or angle of deflection and are used during takeoff and landing. These settings are also called as configurations. Flaps are locked in a particular configuration by pressure brakes. During takeoff, flaps are extended to a small angle and during landing, they are extended to the maximum angle. So the flaps provide high lift at low velocities. The next secondary control surface we will look at is the slats. Slats are located on the leading edge of the wing. They are also classified as a high lift device. Like flaps, the slats can only extend downwards. As it goes downwards, the camber increases, so the lift also increases because of the increase in CL. The main advantage of the slat is that it increases the stall angle, so the aircraft can fly at a higher angle of attack. Like the flaps, the slats also have different configurations and are used during takeoff and landing. In some aircraft, when they are flying at high angles of attack, the air is allowed to flow through the gap between the slats and the wing. These are called as slots. The next secondary control surface we will look at is the spoilers. The spoilers are located on the upper surface of the wing. They are mainly used to reduce the speed and the lift of the aircraft. The spoilers can only deploy upwards. This spoils the airflow on the top surface of the wing, which increases the drag on the aircraft. Spoilers are used in flight to reduce the aircraft speed and to rapidly decrease the aircraft's altitude. They are used during landing to rapidly increase the drag to stop the aircraft safely. The difference between spoiler extension in flight or during landing is that the angle of deflection changes. The next secondary control surface we will look at is the tabs. These are the primary control surfaces of an aircraft. The tabs are installed on the trailing edge of the primary control surface. Let's look at the horizontal stabilizer to understand the working of tabs. This is the elevator and this is the tab attached to the elevator. The tabs can be classified as balance tabs or trim tabs. First, let's look at balance tabs. If the elevator has to be deflected down, the tab will be deflected up. The airflow will push the tab and the elevator downwards. Hence, the balance tabs will assist in the deflection of the control surfaces. So, if the elevator has to be deflected up, the tab has to be deflected down. Now, the airflow will push the tab and the elevator upwards. This is extremely helpful if the aircraft has a cable pulley system for the flight controls. Now let's see trim tabs. These tabs are controlled by a trim wheel and are used to reduce the pilot's workload. To understand this, let's consider an aircraft flying with a nose up condition. Now the aircraft is set to be out of trim. For efficient flying, the aircraft must be flown straight and level which means the aircraft needs to be trimmed for level flight. The pilot, however, cannot keep holding the control stick forward throughout the flight, so the trim tab becomes useful. 
Once the tab is deflected up, the elevator gets deflected down and the tab is locked in this position. The aircraft is now trimmed because the elevator will maintain level flight without any pilot input. We have seen some secondary control surfaces such as flaps, slats, spoilers and tabs. Depending on the airplane's requirements, one or more secondary control surfaces will be installed. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.